Welcome everyone. I am joined with Deanna Amos today and uh, we're really excited to have you so thank you for coming in today. Deanna Amos holds the Certified Financial Planner designation and she works for Credential Financial Strategies Incorporated as an insurance representative and Credential Securities as an investment advisor. Yes. So you've got lots of good information for us. Uh, Credential Financial Strategies Incorporated offers financial planning, life insurance, investments um, for members of credit unions and their communities and mutual funds and other securities are offered through Credential Securities, a division of Credential Trade Securities. So uh, lots of good stuff that we're going to talk about today, uh, specifically financial planning. Um, before we even get into the details of it, what is exactly financial planning? Sure. So financial planning is, is more than just budgeting or saving. Uh, it's more than the perfect investment strategy. Right. It's really about setting some life goals and working towards them. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. And so um, that can maybe seem daunting to people. Um, how does one even just start looking right. at that? Yeah. yeah. So uh, the first step is really to, uh, to reach out to your financial institution. They can help point you in the direction of a financial planner within their location. Uh, or you can take to the website. Uh, there is a website, Financial Planning Standards Council, okay. which has some good information on how to find a planner yeah. and, uh, and characteristics that you should be looking for. Okay, and so with characteristics, everyone's financial situation is completely different. Um, with financial planning, is it for everyone? Everyone of all different salaries and situations yeah. and it, it works for everybody? Yeah, absolutely. I, so we do work with young people. Uh, young people often say to us, well, hey, I, uh, I don't know when my retirement is going right. to be or I just don't have enough assets. We also work with mature people who have said, hey, I've left it too late. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm unprepared for yeah. my retirement. Yeah. And it's really anyone in between uh, that we can help. As long as you have a financial goal, we can help set you in, a right, in the right direction. Right. And uh, what kind of goals specifically should be people learning and leaning towards? Sure. So it can really be anything from retirement planning uh, to certain luxuries that they want to indulge in. So mm -hmm. maybe it's that vacation or right. that new car. Uh, it can really be education. Uh, any other big purchases that right. they might have. Any financial goal, short term, medium term, and long term can be discussed within your financial plan. See, that's good to know because you could have like, if you're even if you're looking for that car and that seems like kind of daunting at the time and yeah. it doesn't maybe seem like, oh, well, it's not a retirement plan, but you still want information on it. That's kind of the person that you can go to for that. Right, so it does depend on the advisor that you're working with. So as a certified financial planner, investment representative, or insurance representative and investment advisor, I generally deal with a little bit more complex uh, and specialized cases, right. but there are financial advisors who deal with anyone at, at different stages in their life. Right, absolutely. And mm -hmm. we're gonna get into that definitely a little bit more. Um, touching just a little bit um, on specifically what your investments uh, look like when people come to you specifically. Mm -hmm. So really, uh, we don't necessarily get right into the product of investments. Uh, we really want to start with getting an understanding of their financial goals. Right. Uh, so some people come to us without having a goal at all. So sometimes we're involved just in helping them set those financial goals. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's really about getting a better understanding of their situation, what's important to them, uh, and making recommendations based on that. So it's right. not necessarily that we'll jump into investments and product right away. Yeah. We try to get a better understanding of where they are, what resources have they accumulated so far, and what's important to awesome. them. Awesome, that's perfect. We're yeah. gonna get into more uh, coming up in our next panel, so stay with us. We will be back with more. Welcome back, we're with Deanna today, a financial advisor answering all our questions about financial planning today. Uh, we kind of touched on the surface of what we should kind of start looking for and why you'd want a financial planner. Um, but uh, some of the questions is um, like, what is someone, why is it so important sure. to have a financial advisor first yeah. off? So uh, financial planning is important for a number of reasons. Uh, a lot of studies have been done uh, by the Financial Planning Standards Council that show that Canadians who engage in financial planning have a much greater level of financial and emotional well-being. Right. So some examples uh, would include that uh, they feel more on track to their retirement plan, 
or maybe they just feel that they're better able uh, to indulge in some luxuries just because they have that plan in place. So it's important uh, to have a positive emotional and financial well-being and a financial plan can help with that. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. I find, I think most people when they see financial planning, they think, well, I can just like, I'll just plan if I want to go on vacation, I'll just plan a vacation. But um, when you sit down with a financial planner and an advisor, um, what are kind of those questions that you're going to ask mm -hmm. a person and, and how do you kind of start that conversation? Sure. So really financial planning starts, uh, it's very similar to planning a vacation or planning a road trip across, across country. Uh, so you need to be able to know where you're going, yeah. know where you want to go, and when you want to get there. So it's, it's really setting that destination, setting those goals, medium term, long term, and short term goals that we can include in your financial plan. I, from there, uh, you work with your financial planner who will help provide you strategies, uh, different routes to take okay. on your journey across country or yeah. within your financial plan. Uh, so that inc might include strategies to save more, spend less, mm. earn a different rate of return, uh, then the next step of the plan is to take those strategies, take those recommendations, and put them into action. Right. So that's when you put your plan into drive, uh, you start your travels across country, and, and you really start implementing all of those recommendations. Right. And then the final step is to monitor and review. Right. So you stop every once in a while and look at your roadmap. Look at your financial plan. Are you on track? Mm -hmm. uh, are you uh, where you should be at this point? And has anything else come up that you might want to explore? And did that affect the final destination? Right. So that's what a financial planner uh, would go through with you when you sit down. Awesome. And with picking a financial planner, like clearly this is something that continues on through life. You can have this person help you out through a lot of different steps and a lot of different um, adventures that you're going to go on through life. So Absolutely. what should someone look for uh, to make sure that financial advisor is like the right fit for sure, them? Sure, sure. So I, there is a tool on Financial Planning Standards Council called Find a Planner. You can search for your planner by city. It is important to be working with someone who is working towards or who already holds the certified financial planner designation. And the reason for that is that there are very strict educational requirements mm -hmm. and testing uh, that's done on a certified financial planner to ensure that they have the knowledge to give you the proper advice. Right. So uh, certainly work for a certified or work with a certified financial planner uh, or someone who is working towards that designation. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, we touched on a lot of stuff today and I want to thank you so much for coming sure. in. We learned a lot thank and you. hopefully you will come back and help us more along the financial we'll planning <laughs> journey. Absolutely. That would be great. Thank you so much for joining us, Deanna. Um, that is all the time we have today with Deanna and uh, thank you for watching. We've got more primetime local news coming up.